Now, the top state doctor at the forefront of guiding New Mexico during this pandemic provided an update today on the virus. He covered a lot of ground from the hospitalization totals to why we are seeing more cases without symptoms. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart. That webinar with Human Services Secretary Dr. David Scrace lasted almost two hours, and it included questions about how many out-of-state residents are being treated in New Mexico hospitals. If we have Texans and Arizonans in our hospitals, we don't count them in the case counts. We just send those over to Arizona and Texas, and they follow those people. But we do include them in the hospitalization counts. Now, Dr. Spray says the state keeps close track of how many hospital beds are available in New Mexico to make sure we have adequate capacity. And although the state could not say how many out-of-state coronavirus patients are in New Mexico's hospital beds, he says they're not seeing any surge of transfers from out-of-state. There has been a slight uptick, though, in the number of occupied ICU beds. But the good news is Dr. Spray says fewer patients are on ventilators. At one point, roughly 40 percent of those hospitalized were intubated, and now it's about 20 percent. That could be because the recent rise in cases is in people in their 20s and 30s. There's also a rise in confirmed asymptomatic cases in New Mexico, which he partially attributes to the state's work. We're doing a good job of contact tracing, and so if we contact people and say, hey, you were exposed to a COVID-positive individual before they have symptoms, and we isolate them and get them a test, we should see an increasing number of asymptomatic people. That's really success. Now, he also addressed testing, saying New Mexico is more, more than hitting its mark on daily testing numbers. And he added the state is working to address some of those long lines like we've seen at Balloon Fiesta Park. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabby. Now, data shows the death rate is also decreasing in New Mexico, but the doctor says that can change in the coming weeks with the recent rise in cases.